All right, so what do you say we take another crack at this? Um, so I, I pulled out some cards here because I was just I was thinking about it, um, and I might suggest that you take this card over this card. And the reason is because I have a really nice, easy way to generate wind. And the reason why I was downgrading this card so much is that we didn't play with the brute, and I mean we just started playing with the brute, obviously. And so I didn't have anybody to really generate wind very much for me. But that means that this top attack, or this top is like an eight attack burn, essentially. So you could pop that turn one, and then on your next four attacks, you do an extra two damage. That's that's really really powerful. Um, and then if you use this as your initiative, I use something like this. Then I go before you to generate the element. Then you can use this and get that effect Where going. You generate an element on that one. What's that? Where does it say you generate an element on that one? This one. Oh. The bottom generates the wind that you I need. See it. I see it. Um, and then okay. so you could get the, the the summon out as well, right away. And then on your following turn, you go really fast, like something like that fast. Where was the other card? No. Yeah, this card. Because this initiative is slightly slower than this. So I could generate an element for you here. Or, wherever that is. Or you could use this as a top attack for three damage, but then you miss out on the bottom attack here. That's mm -hmm. the drawback to doing that. So you'd want to use this with an element. So if you use this as your initiative, then I can, again, go quicker and give you an element to use with this. And then you can get two attacks in the second turn using two of these charges. Um, when you go fast, your summon goes right before you, so your summon will definitely get an attack. Um, this thing has three attacks, so it's like three damage per round. Uh, it's ranged... Uh, ally soul it'll try to stay out of the way most of the time and it's two um if it ever gets hit it's pretty much gonna die but ranged summons are by far better than melee but um anyway um yeah do you want to make that swap well i mean if you go first with this one yep i could do both of these at the same time i i would go first with this one so yeah i would be going before you because i need to have these okay. two then no, if you go and use this one first, that generates. Oh no, that's leaf. That's not. Yeah, wind. this is the wind, right here. So I'd need to pair that with something else, and um, I see. So, so if I do something like that or this. But then I put these two together. I can do both. Yes. Summon the ally and then the. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So turn one, you could get this effect ready, and then summon your ally. Turn two, go really quick. But not too quick, because if you use the other one, wherever it is. The move four. Nope. Uh, this one. If you use this one to attack instead, you'll go before me and then I can't get the element. Ah. That's why I was suggesting this one. So I could get you yeah, in no, it. No, that's what I say. If you go first, you generate the wind and then I can do both. Oh, you see. I see Turn the other element. Two. Does that burn? But does that burn this one? Yes, that burns both of those. No, no, no. I mean, does generating the element... And then me using that element, does that burn that element? Yes. Oh, okay. So it doesn't just stay there. It's not like... Yeah, that's why I'm saying. The next turn, I could generate well, an element I, for I, you. I get it. I get it. I get it. I okay. Get it. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah. You want to make that swap then? Instead of fireball. Instead of fireball? What? That's the one you pulled out. No, Freezing Nova. This is this is a melee attack for a, a spellcaster like oh. you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. That's why it's also about the same initiative in the you know the the early twenties, so it's not really hurting your deck too much, but by far more useful and it'll actually get you a lot more damage. But um, yeah, so anyway, we're still in Gloomhaven technically, so we can do a city event while we're here. Sure. Okay. Does it hurt to do one? No, uh, road events, we're, we're going to have to do a road event anyways. The city events are optional, but again, typically they're positive, And there is only 90-something scenarios, and some of these are repeated, and the deck gets shuffled, so you can potentially pull a lot of repeats. So I I think that we should probably do them. Okay, here we go. Occasionally, your dealings in town lead you past the bustling docks. All conversation gets drowned out by the constant dim, din din that's a weird load din of loading and unloading cargo and crew this makes it all the more surprising when you hear a voice above the noise directed straight at you 
Oi! You with the hard looks and big arms. I desperately need some help over here. Spare a few minutes to help make sure I get out of port on time. Otherwise, I'll be stuck here until tomorrow. Option A, help the captain. Option B, don't help him. Move on with your business. You have no time or inclination for such things. So this might be a similar thing to the last one where we just lose a check mark. I mean, what do we lose by helping him? What 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 could we lose unless he's gonna kidnap us? Well, that's what I just said. We would lose like a check mark for a perk, but I don't have any, so I don't. I have I, two. You have one. Don't I have two? You lost one from oh, the last city event. Remember the pie already. eating contest? That's right. Just, just couldn't eat the pie. So I vote for helping him. I vote for helping him. Alright, so we're gonna help him. Load, here we go. What was advertised as a few minutes turns out to be an hour or two as you lug large crates of full of some foul smelling liquid from a nearby warehouse in the hold of the ship. At least the captain is re relieved that he'll be able to set sail in time, though he gratefully pays you, but you can't help but think that such menial labor might be beneath you. So if your reputation's greater than nine, lose one reputation, which we aren't, we're negative one. If your reputation is less than negative four, you gain a reputation. So since we're in between that, nothing happens. So we just get five gold. All right, cool. And that's five gold each. Yeah. So did you give yourself five gold? No, I didn't. Wait, how did I go down to si Oh, that's right. Because you bought the goggles. Or you bought the goggles. All right. Uh, since this is a terror, I'm also going to see what the other one was. Uh, if you don't help him and you had high reputation, you'd gain more reputation. If you had low reputation, you'd gain, you'd lose some more. So, so I, I, good thing we helped him. With our current reputation level, yeah. Okay. Why are we, you guys upside down? Because they're not active yet. It's a, I put them on the board because we know that they're, but they're not active until we reveal the room. Were they right there? Yeah. Oh. That's where they start. What are you doing? Looking. Is your phone next to your keyboard this time or something? It's on my lap. Because I hear a lot of clicking now. Have it turned sideways. Maybe I should that not be shuffling thing. these decks every time. Luckily, we haven't had anything. It's just a bad habit. So anything else you want to do in Gloomhaven? You want to buy some blesses or anything? Nah. Nah? Well, what's a bless? You donate to the Great Oak, you get two blesses put in your deck. That's like a times two. Similar to the curses, they're one-time use. Maybe I should, because we have two curses. We have three curses. Three curses. So you're going to spend ten to donate to the Great Oak? I think so. Okay, cool. I will mark it off. I could use, we could we could use it. I need it. <laughs> Especially since you're gonna be the big damage dealer here. Uh, bless. So we go. One. Oh. Two. No, these are temporary. Those are your permanent modifiers. These are temporary ones. Um, I'm also gonna throw the curses in there. Yeah. Um. So if you're wondering what I just checked off here, if you come down to the lower left, inside the rule book, there's these special conditions for stuff happening once you donate 100 gold collectively to the great oak 10 per scenario at a time then you open open envelope b and that's one of these secret envelopes over here um, upper left a little okay. bit yep uh, okay road events you see a lone man walking towards you on the road as you meet on the path he turns to you and begins to speak oi there one suppose wait that's two in a row that says oi I wouldn't, I wouldn't oh, suppose you lot might spare me some coin, he asks. A lot of coin, actually. Look at him quizzically as he continues. You see, I lead a lot of thieves and bandits in the area, and we gotta make sure all the mouths are fed. At this, a large number of bandits come out of hiding around you, emerging from the bushes. So about that coin, the man says with a smile. Five gold per head ought it do it. Oh, fuck. I, I, don't, I don't have... I, I have one. Yeah, I have five, so we can't pay them. So we, I guess we got to resist the robbery. 
we can't do anything <laughs> else. We could. We, well, I, I think you can pay the thieves and then don't have enough money. But since we don't have that, I think we might as well just resist the robbery. So, yeah. Well, because we don't have the money to pay the thieves, so we're just gonna like get beat up or something. But are we gonna be beat up worse for resisting? I don't know. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Unfazed by the ambush, you draw your weapons and attack the bandits in the bushes. The leader tries to withdraw, but you cut them down as well. There are a lot of bandits, but they don't put up too much of a fight. They seem weak and malnourished. You guess the leader wasn't kidding about needing to buy food. So both of us start with Snarling with three damage again. Again. How dare you make me do this? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, just out of curiosity, what was the other one? Yeah, so you just lose five gold each, and then it would go back in the deck, so that would c continue to keep happening. So at least this well, way is, again, gone from the deck. I guess. Okay. Alright, I'm... Oh, that's right. Hmm? I already did you... Oh, I, do, I guess I didn't do your damage. Nope. No. I, I missed it. Sure, yeah, you did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Somehow the, the spell we've got an extra three health, I guess. I was magical this round. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna dish out some battle goals. Hopefully you don't get the fucking item one and actually can do stuff. Oh, hey. I don't understand that one. You can ask questions. It says, have five or more total cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario? Mm hmm What does that mean? Meaning... Like, discard your hand? No. Meaning, you know, as this... Sorry, I'll flip these over so I don't see them. So as the scenario goes on, you're going to lose some cards, right? Uh-huh. So if you have one card here and one card in your hand, that's only two total. So that thing says you got to have at least five between your hand and your discard here, so not lost. Does that make sense? Give it back, I wanna see. You can take them back in your hand, I was just... I have five or more total cards. Oh, in your hand and this card. I Correct. thought it meant you had, at the end you had to have five cards and then discard them at the end of the scenario. I was like, I'm... I'm no. What? No. Okay, I think... Okay. That, that, which is kind of hard for the Spellweaver because you have such a small hand size to begin with. If you're like, um, I think Craighart has 11, but if, if you have 11 or 12, that'll be a lot easier for you to do because you can last a long time without using a lot of cards, so. I feel like I got no experience this last time. How did I get so much experience the first time? You burned a lot of cards? I don't know. You got a lot more than I did the the second time, for sure. Like, they, well, they, yeah, both times I did, but... I, I was not using a lot of experience-generating abilities, and I, I should have. I need to stay ahead of you, really, to be a tank. If I'm behind you, then the scenarios hit me a lot harder than they should, so... Anyway, so pick about a goal. Okay, I, I picked. Where do they go? Oh, did you grab it from me? Yep. Okay, uh, so we're at the bear lair. We added three curses to our deck, and... Are you okay with where you start there? I mean, you can start against the back wall if you want. Um, like I'm not here. attacking this time, am I? Well, you would... It, I think uh, if you wanted to use that bottom attack, you have to be ranged too. So you'd have to be here anyways. I plan to move, like, here-ish again um and if i'm going quicker than you the bandit archer will attack me so you're safe to be there so you're going quick i am gonna go very quick very quick are you doing what we discussed before that is why i brought it up yes okay then i already know what i'm doing this round that is a uh, that's not not saying that we're gonna do that every round but it wouldn't be a bad idea for synergy between our classes 
doing this every round? Every start of scenario is what I meant. Alright, I was gonna say because, um, I can't do this every time. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Right. But, like, sometimes scenarios are really long, you have to do a lot of running and stuff. Summons are not really good for that because that one's pretty slow and you can move a lot quicker than it. So it's always trailing behind. But given that we're kind of all fighting in this central area here, that summon will come in handy. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't, uh, let's see, Archer 4. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay, flip it. I got 10. You are, what, 25? Mm-hmm. And the archers are 44. So I get to go first, then you, then them. So I'm going to move three. Well, I'm going to move two. Then I'm going to generate wind and attack to disarm this archer. Uh, should I poison him? No, I really want to save the dagger for later. Okay, I'm going to attack two. Hey, there's a curse. Well, that's a good thing to start with. Um, what is this archer? Archer number two. Rather get them now than in the boss room. That's somewhat true. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Doesn't matter which order I do them in. Oops, you already generated the thing, so. Yep. I'll summon an ally! Okay. And so. You get two experience for that, right? Yes, you do. Yeah, doing that also gets you a lot of experience as well. So for continuous effects, I don't think you've had any of these yet. They go on this no, little file here. So up on yep, top, I these are Yep, I noticed you had your thing there last time. Yep. So um, if Did you're... Did you have to give me experience? No. Okay. No. Um, the way that they generate experience is when you reveal the tokens here. So it starts here. When it gets used once, you move it. Oh, I see. Once when it gets the... once, you moved it, and then you get an experience. So you get... An experience on the second and fourth uses on that one. This one, you get the experience right away. Yeah. Um, and then your summons here are represented by these tokens. Wait, should one be on there yet? Because I haven't attacked yet. Um, yeah, this is where it starts. That's what I was just explaining. So when it's you... It's on your next four attacks. Yes. Should be one, two, three, four, but I haven't attacked yet. I just explained it. I'll try to explain it again. So it starts here. When you attack mm -hmm. once, it goes one. When you attack oh, twice, so it goes here. Done. You reveal the experience, you get one. When you attack okay. a third time, it goes here. When you attack a fourth time, it's done. Okay. Okay, makes sense? Yes. I don't know why it gave us this. I guess you can do that together. Okay. In case you have multiple summons or something, it just helps keep track. So you can go all like, this is number one, so you can put number one here. I think that's how that um... works. Okay, makes sense. It doesn't, it's, it's, whatever. Okay. It's um, in the middle, let it be. So the way summons work is that you summon them adjacent to you. So you could summon it here or anywhere oh, around yeah. you. Give it. Given that it's range two, and it goes before you, I would suggest putting it here. Why? Or, otherwise this one, if you go faster than me ever, it's going to attack your summon and kill it right away. Because your summon is technically quicker than you. So if you use your, like, uh, Mana Bolt, for instance, you go before any of us. Which means your summon goes before any of us. This way it's safe, it has its range 2 on this to attack it. And then you and I take hits instead of it. Make sense? Okay. Okay. So the archers are... He doesn't get to attack this round, does he? No. They go before you. Okay, so. Yep. Same thing with like the mo with the mo the the bosses. When they summon things, mm -hmm. they don't get to go the same round. So same same sort of thing. Um, so number two is disarmed and is not going to do anything. Number six is going to attack me for three damage. Minus one, so two damage. So and... this these goggles. Yep. It's just for one turn, right? It's not for the entire time? It's for one attack action. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, for instance, if you use your fire orbs, it'll apply to that whole thing, the whole fire orbs. But it will yes. not apply to, like, if you have that that's attack bottom. Attack. Yes, I get it. Yeah, so it's one half attack action. 
Well, since your summon's going to help me soften this up, and since I didn't actually get to do anything with it, <laughs> I am going to try whacking it. You're going to attack this guy, right? Yeah. I think between me and your summons, I should be able to... Should be able to kill it, I think. Okay. Okay. Or should I... No, I need to do that bottom for your thingy. So I'm going to be generating... We don't have any elements, do we? I, no. I will... Oh. If, if you go what we discussed, I will be generating leaf for you. What did we discuss next? Not going as quick as you can, but the next best one. Okay. So that you can use the element I'm generating. Let's see here. This one's... We'll do this one. And then... Sure. Maybe. Hold on. <laughs> one. No, that one's range three. That's good. No, back on there. There we go. Okay. Flip. 18. You got 36 and they are 68. Okay. So I'm going to heal two and generate leaf. And that's where I meant this one is slightly faster than that one. So you could have used this as your initiative instead. I wasn't 100% sure, so yep. I, I figured I'd choose one that was still kind of fast, but not as fast. So I heal myself for two, and then I attack three, the archer in front of me, for three damage. And then I get an experience for that. Okay, your turn. Why is there three on there? Because of this elite one in the next room. I told you, I set it up already for the next room. Don't worry about it. Where's... Uh, where? Krista. What? So you two are the ones we're working on? Yes, the, the normal ones. Okay. You, you see on the sleeve here how it has one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Okay, and then come over here to look at the figures. You see how it says Bandit Archer 6, yeah. Bandit okay. Archer 2? Yes. And then the coin represents the elite, which is gold. Yeah, I just noticed that he was there. I didn't know why. But, anyway, okay. your turn. I'm going to use the element in attack. This guy. Okay. And that one attacks two plus Wait, sorry. One Hold on. Element. Hold on. Your what? summon's gonna go. Oh, that's right. So he has range 2, attack 3. You don't actually get to control him. He's like a monster. His closest target is this archer, and he's already in range. So he's going to do a 3 damage attack against that archer. So pull a modifier for him. They pull from I your deck. Mine! Yeah. Minus well. 1. Well, that's good, because it'll help you get rid of the curses as well. True. Uh, so he does 2 damage, which is enough. So he kills that archer. Yeah. Go, go. All right, and then it's now it's your turn. Okay, now I'm going to attack with this one the, and use the element. So that makes it three attack, and mm -hmm. I get an experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I gotta do this. Um, so it does 3 minus 1, so 2 damage. Okay. And then I'm going to use the bottom attack on this one. Okay. So it's range 2. He's still, yeah, he's in range 2. Mm -hmm. So I can hit him for 2. And I get another experience. Oh, hold on. What? Oh, oh yeah. So that would have been 3 then. That would have been an extra 2 damage. So that was four. That's two extra? Yeah, because oh, you used okay. the, the wind. That's why it's so good now. Oh. So this is not a two damage attack. This is a four damage attack you're going to hit him with now. Okay. Totally forgot about that thing that we were going to do. 
And then I get another experience for that, because this is the second attack? Yep. Okay. And you do four damage to him, so you kill it. Good job. You killed one all by yourself. Woohoo! Mage with the carry again. Mm-hmm. God dang it. <laughs> can't, can't, can't hold your own here, Tank? <laughs> The only unfortunate thing about summons is that if there's no target, they don't move. So oh. if you want me to give them a target, you have to go after me. Okay. Let's see here. So I'm going to go kind of fast. So if you go moderate to late... It'll give your target, it'll give your summon something to move up to. He won't be able to attack me in this turn and maybe not even the next turn, but by three turns from now, he should be able to do something. Because he's slow? Because he only has two movement, yeah. Okay. Um. Wait a second. Oh. And then your second attack, you got one experience from Crackling Air. From what? Crackling Air. Because you moved, we had to move the tracker, which revealed this oh, yes, experience. I did that. You did that? Okay. You sure you didn't get the experience from this thing instead? I did this one and this one. And yeah. then, then one more for the other one. So you got two, three... Four, five experience. Okay. Okay. You good? Yes. Flip. You. That is pretty late. Okay. So. I'm not to be too late, but this is uh, either really fast or very slow. So, so I'm going to move one. And that reveals these guys so we get to see what they're doing. The boss is doing spa boss special one. <laughs> Where is the boss? Oh, he's the red, red one. one. Mm -hmm. The archer's attacking two targets, but he's going to go before you, so you don't have to worry about it. The boss, you're going to actually go before the boss. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm in range three. I'm wondering, should we try to nuke down the boss, or should we try to get rid of the archer? Because he's going to hit kind of hard for a while. Well, the boss is going to keep, like, getting more people in here. That's true. Okay. Um, I'll attack the boss. Three damage, two damage to the boss. And again, experience for that. And since I'm going to take some hits and you're not going to heal me for a while, I'm going to use my health potion now. Okay. Next is the archer. The archer has range five, and he's going to attack me for two damage. Three damage. Awesome. And then it's your turn. So your summon is going to target one of them and move two. And then you get to go. Debating if I should heal and move. No, I can't move two. If I heal. So. I mean, I was just using them so I could move four with this one. Mm hmm. Get closer. Yeah, I don't think you can attack anything either. Two, three, four. Uh, no, this one is not close enough. Okay. Basically, just wanted to move. <laughs> so the boss is gonna teleport there and review the living corpses. We got five and two. the heck kind of thing did I summon that it's so slow okay so the corpses get to move one space one two one and that's all they get to do all right so that is that round
I think I'm gonna move up and attack and poison the boss. So I'm gonna go as quick as I can and hopefully the boss doesn't move. If the boss does move, I'm gonna go and attack the archer, I think, instead. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to move before the boss, but that would be amazing if I could. So why'd you use Mana Bolt on that last one? This one? For reasons. Because that was your fastest initiative card and you didn't even use it. Yeah, it was, like I said, it's either really fast or the slowest of slow. So well, you wanted to go slow after me anyways. So you could yes, have just used two slow so cards. Slow, but like, if I just felt that that would have worked best. <laughs> just offering okay. criticism. Stop criticizing me. That's the only way you'll improve. I don't know. I think it worked out. All right. Flip. Please tell me I go before the boss. Yeah, right. <laughs> With the 69? Are you kidding me? No. If you had, uh, the if other you, one was 73, so... If you had your mana bolt instead of one of these... What's special too? What is that? He summons a bones. Okay, so does that mean he doesn't move? Yes. Okay, good. So it did not foil my plan. Anyway, but if you wanted to go quicker than him, you had to go a lot quicker, like your mana bolt would have done it. But uh, 15 beats his, so I get to go first. What's everybody else doing? Archer is attacking really hard again. Why does the archer attack so goddamn hard? The corpses aren't moving. And the boss can't be stunned. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use this as a move too. And then I'm going to no. attack. No what? Don't move there. That's the only place I can move and attack the boss. I'm a melee guy, Krista. Oh, I suppose I can still do it. You can, yeah, you can move anywhere. It's a range three. Anyway. Why is there one there? Because it was on the oh. door when I stepped on it, and I accidentally grabbed it with me. <laughs> uh, so I'm doing a three damage attack and poison to the boss. Boy, boss can be poisoned, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Which means the boss will take more damage from here on out. So it's three damage. Three damage. One, two, three. And he's poisoned. What are you doing? Pushing buttons. Uh, next is the boss. The boss is going to summon a normal living bones. Do you want it here or here? Here or here? There. There? Yes. Okay. Uh, living bones number two. They actually don't get to go because they're summoned. And then you're 69, so... The archer's gonna go. The archer's gonna hit me for four damage. Minus two, so I take two damage. Hey, some good luck finally. And then your summon goes. So your summon's gonna go one, two. Can't quite attack anything yet, but next turn he will be able to, I think. <laughs> and then it's your turn. Okay, first I'm going to use the move four on this one. So one, two, Three, Why however, are you going there? one, two, three, four. Cause I can attack him, him, and one of these. Cause that's line of sight, right? But you're muddled against this that... guy. Oh well. If you go here, you can attack these three guys. Oh, that's still line of sight of those. I mean, no, no. Oh, oh, him. The new guy that just appeared. Mm -hmm. And then you're not muddled. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're going to pop now all I'm your items archer. and do a fuck ton of damage? Yeah, I was thinking that. But now I'm in the archer's line of sight. <laughs> yeah? I'll give you a hint, Krista. The archer has a uh -huh. range of five. So... Oh, well, I would have been in him. <laughs> okay. How do I tap these? Um, uh, Q and E. Q and E. We typically go the other way, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Those are not tapped. What? 
If you notice the icon, oh. the lower right of this one is a tap. This one is an X. This is a one-time oh. use. Well, so I'm that you tap. Both. And then this you're using power potion. Oh, oh, that's how you use it? Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I will clarify, this crackling air only is going to trigger on two of them. Oh, so it's not... This is not per, per attack action. action. This is per attack. Okay. So, so I'll, I'll break it down. So you got advantage in all three attacks. Uh, because of your power potion, all, all three attacks are four. Four damage. And then your first two are going to be six damage. So the boss and the archer... Might make sense. Yeah. Okay, so which one are you going to do first? The archer. Okay, uh, so pull two cards. There's a curse. And a curse! You're fucking kidding me. Hey, at so... least it wasn't the boss. Yeah. <laughs> Are right. you kidding me? Oh. Those come oh, out. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you missed twice on the archers. Alright. Now the boss. Minus one or times two? No, plus one. Okay. So that does three, four, five, six, seven damage, eight with poison to the boss. Boss is down to seven health. Um, and then your crackling air goes away, so you get one experience for that. Uh, you might as well add the three experience for the, the fire orbs too, as long as you're at it. Okay. Okay, and then your last one. Against the, the living bones. I still get to pick two, right? Yep. Plus one or miss. Cool. So that is four, five damage to the living bones. If he didn't have shield, you would have killed him. So he's down to one health. Yay! I helped. You did. <laughs> you were doing what the what? spell weaver does best. Did a lot of shit and. Uh, uh firearms is burned, right? Yep. I picked the right one, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Last is the living corpses. They're not moving, and that's the round. Oh. Oh, really? Isaac made a noise. Well, I'm gonna go as quick as I can and get this going, I guess. I don't see him. I have to short rest. Yeah. Um, because you have the null here with the shuffle, we're gonna shuffle that in as well. Oh, okay. God damn it. Oh, what? The curses are out, right? The two that you grab. Or, yeah. So you have... Why do I always grab this one? How do I do this? Take a hit? Yep. <sighs> Trust me, my first few scenarios, that's all that happened to me, too. <laughs> Eh, that sucks, but oh well. That one's harder to line up than the fire orb, so... Does this go in my hand, or...? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they all go in my hand. Yep. Do we have anything generated? No. Okay. And I cannot generate you anything. I mean, I guess I can use them without. So the boss only has seven health left. I'm going to try and focus him down. I hope he doesn't move. If he moves, then basically I'm kind of screwed. I'll just have to whack the bones in front of me, but... I'm going kind of fast, but not super fast. And I'm not planning to move this round. Okay, so we're starting back up. We had a little bit of a discussion off camera, and I think she knows what she should probably do. Wink. Wink. <laughs> wink, wonk. Wink, wonk. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, what? 
Oh, somebody messaged me. I was trying to check it. Cause... Okay. Um... I don't remember, was I supposed to go fast or slow? Fast, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. you want to go fast. Get that. Go fast. You definitely want to go fast, get that shield up, so that you don't die and have to discard an extra card. Because what that shield does is it essentially turns one throwaway card into two. Because you could have saved that card in your hand, taken the damage, and discarded it, or uh, lose that card to prevent the damage. But by using the bottom ability, you can actually use it to prevent two sources of damage. So the only problem is that you can't really control or you can't choose when to activate it. It's just the next two, but um, anyway, mm -hmm. ready? Yes. Blip. 32 is mine. 20, 47, 68. Let's turn the living bones get to go. 45 and the boss, 73. Wow, you get to go first, Krista. Or should I say Yay. your summon gets to go first? Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, so first do this thing. Can you only do two things at a time? No, you can do infinite. It's just that we have oh, okay. we have it's these definitely. cards here just because normally okay. you don't see more than like one or two, but in your case you might have a few. <laughs> um, so I'm taking a tracker, I'm sticking it on this one. Um, and then I'll... Yep, you generate a wind, or uh, a wind. Not that I get to use it right away, right? Yep, you are correct. Alright, and then you're and doing then... an attack on what? Yep. What are you killing? You could do up to know. four damage to the boss. If you draw a bless or a times two, you would kill the boss. Okay. Oh, or you could any... kill the bones. Okay, to untap this, you have to long rest, right? Yes. Okay, so I didn't get that. Correct. I winged two make an attack. So you got th you got two bad cards in here. So two mi two misses and you got three times twos. So three out of twenty three cards could kill the boss this turn if you decide to risk it, or you could do the conservative thing and attack the bones. Nah. I mean, right now the. Yeah, if you don't kill the boss, you can open up another door. I think you killed the bones, right? Because doesn't the bones attack both of us? Yes. And that would also trigger your your mana or your frost armor one extra time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to kill the bones. Okay. So you got a three damage attack against the bones. Minus one. I do Two damage. Uh, he has one shield, but he only has one health, so the bones dies. Yay! Okay. Does monies go there? No. Spawn oh. things and summoned things do not generate money. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use the bottom of this thing to get some shield. Not that I'm gonna attack right now um and unfortunately i'm not moving at all so i'm going to just use this as a base to attack against the boss for wait two... did i get any experience i thought i got experience for one of those no you Where's get my ex other card though? right here you use the frost oh, armor. Sorry. <laughs> you get the experience once oh, you take the damage okay yeah um anyway so i did two damage three with poison to the boss one two three so yeah Okay, next uh, is the living corpses. They get extra movement, so they get to move two, one, two. Uh, this one's not going to move because he can't get closer to the door. Uh, is this a hex? I think this is considered a hex. It looks like one. Yeah, so okay, then he moves there then. Uh, they have nothing to attack, so they don't. The archer is going to go... The archer is going to hit you for four damage because you went faster than me. Three damage, but your frost armor triggers. So I get one experience. You get one experience. And then you got to move your tracker too. Do you have shadows enabled by chance? 
What shadows? So when you pick this up, do you see like a small black circle? Yes. Okay, that's a shadow. That's where it's going to drop. Oh, okay. It just helps you line it up. I didn't even... Mm -hmm. And then last is the boss. He's doing special one. Let me just check that. Okay. Special one is the jumping to a door. So he's going to go here. And he reveals one elite corpse right here. That's okay. If we kill him this round, then he'll stop doing dab stuff to us. Oh, and then this corpse goes one, too. I thought they didn't go right away when they were summoned. He's not summoned. He was revealed. Oh. So, yeah. So they get to have a normal turn. Okay, um, I have to short rest. So I'm out of cards. And I don't want a long rest here. We want to kill the boss, so I lose my pierce. That's okay. So, I'm going to try hitting the boss. Is that what you're going to do? Yes. Uh, and of course, I didn't take my three target hits. Why would I? Ooh, I could run up and do that. That would hit both of them. That seems like a good idea. And then you're going to be running away, right? I think that was what we had discussed. Just, yes. just for safety to get it out of the archer's range, I think. Yes. I mean, I have um, one more hit, but I don't um, want to. Maybe you don't want to go too... I mean, maybe you want to actually go up to the archer. Because if you go too far away, your guy is going to... This guy is going to come up, and then your archer might target him instead. You don't Why, really he follows me? No. You're, he's going to get in range of the archer. He's gonna move too, wouldn't he go right here so no. he could attack? He's he's range two. They always stay at max range if they can. Ah. Or uh, they stay at a. They move into max range, so they they want to move the least number. Here? Why wouldn't he go here? He can go either one. Well, because you're standing here, he goes before you. He would go here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, That's I what see. I'm saying. Once it, let's say you went over here, now this guy is gonna attack your archer or your summon maybe. So if you stay relatively mm -hmm. close, I don't know, like, if you go here. Yeah, my move has jump, so I can run over that. Uh... Or wait, he was here. He was there, okay. You do the cards. Okay, flip. I got 15, 21 for the bones, 29, and 17 for the boss, so... Your seven Head goes seven. first, which means your summon's gonna go here and attack the archer for uh, three damage. Three damage to the archer. One, two, three. Cool. Yay. Okay, and then it's your turn. Okay. I was going to attack with this one, and I have we have an element, yes, so we I do. can use that. Okay. So that's three. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I was going to ask, what are you attacking? The elite. The boss? No. Why not the Can boss? Can I reach the boss? Yeah, it's range three. Is it? Yes. I thought it was only two. Oh, okay, then yeah, the boss. Okay, so you kill the boss. Woo-woo! God bless! Uh, did you get your experience for that? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, so no more rooms are going to be revealed. We just need to kill what's so, currently on the map. I can move. Yet. Yep. Should I move out of the way? Um. Yeah, maybe move over by the archer. So, like, here? Yeah. <laughs> I think the- yeah, then the archer will attack you for sure. Okay. Is he gonna move and then attack, or yes. is he gonna be muddled then? Yes. He, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter, because I got a thing left, so... Well, if we'll you- if he pulls a- if he pulls a miss, 
then it doesn't trigger because you didn't take any damage. Ah. So it does matter. Um, so the boss is dead. We don't need to worry about him anymore. 15 is next, and that's mine. I need to heal. <laughs> I should I, just long rest. The archer's got four health left. Um, I suppose I could hit this guy and then move. Because I, I don't really want to deal with these guys. I, I want to hit them from a range. So I'm going to hit them for three damage, or I'm going to hit one of them for three damage. The one I can actually reach. So number two for three, four damage to number two. What are you doing? Drinking water. And then I'm going to use this as a move two to go... One. What are the elites doing? They're just moving and muddling. You know what? Why am I moving? I'll just stay put. The elite moving... The elite... Yeah, the corpses are moving and muddling. Um, so then I'm going to move one, two, so they can't reach me. Okay. That makes sense, right? All right, so next is those guys. He's going to go one, two, because he's trying to get to you. Corpse two is going to go one, two. This guy's going to go one, two, I think. And then the archer is going to take a step back and then hit you for two damage. Two damage, so your frost armor triggers. Two damage, it's negative one. Yes, but this is attack is minus one. Yup. And they have two Three. attack. He's elite, Krista. Look at the yellow side. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you're tracking because I do make stupid mistakes like that, but no, you're wrong. <laughs> Mine. Okay, so then that card is burned. Yes. And I got an experience. I am not getting my battle call this time. <laughs> not even close. I believe it was shift alt to look underneath it. Yep, I got it. Okay. Okay, uh, so you're immobilized now, so you can't move next turn. I got- did- did I get my experience for summoning this dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I did. I need short rest. Yep. I would say don't lose that card. Oh, no, never mind, you have to. Yeah, you can't risk losing the other one, otherwise you're exhausted. Yeah. And I don't think I can take out these four guys by myself. <laughs> well, I could try. Just attack from range the whole time. Um, help me soften them up a little bit, and then you can... Yeah, so you're stuck there, which means this living corpse is going to run up and hit you. So you might have to start, like, discarding cards to stay alive a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, you definitely want to go quick to get your cards back. I put the quickest one I had in there. <laughs> yep. I believe. Okay, um, so then I'm gonna go as quick as I can to make sure that nothing bad happens to you. And I'll do this to hit as much as I can. So, ready? Yep. 10 is mine. 36. Oh, good. The corpses aren't doing anything. That's nice. They're not hurting themselves? They're hurting themselves, but I mean, they're not attacking. So. Oh. What I'm going to do is use this as a move three. One, two, three. I'm generating a wind. And then I'm going to attack to disarm the archer. Or do I want to hit both of them? Can I think I could kill the archer? No, I'm just going to attack, disarm the archer, and then... Huh? He has four left. Why did I use this as my move? Oh, because I was planning to two attack. Sorry, what? I was wondering how much he had left. 
Four. I see. The archer has four. I think I'm gonna forego the the disarm. I'm just gonna hit him because he'll he'll move back, and these guys aren't gonna do anything. So, uh, three damage to the archer and the corpse. Starting with the archer, three, four damage to the archer, which is enough to kill him. Good. Yay! He did. And then three. There is another curse. So I do nothing to the corpse. He's at 10? Jesus. They are elite, yes. That's scary. I have, that like, is pretty scary. Off. Okay, so when I use this... Does this count for the one in my hand? Like, if I use this one first and then this one? No. Because it's not from your lost pal, remember? So you'd not, you would not be getting this card back. If this bottom okay. was a burn and you would burn it first, then yes. Okay. So another so thing... So it doesn't matter which order I do it in, I'm still going to lose this one? Mm -hmm. Now, oh. I will say, with this one, you can also use it to get back your current effects going on. So let's say you had Frost Armor, mm -hmm. and there was one tick left of it. It would you, bring all the way back? You could... Put it back in your hand. You could take it. Oh Jesus Christ! Tabletop is tabletop is having issues. Okay. <laughs> God. Okay. So as soon as something is played in here, it's considered lost already. And at any point, you can mm -hmm. move this to the lost pile. So you could technically do that if there was an effect out here. You can also do it to your summon if you really want to get this card back right now. Or you could leave the okay. summon out and keep ticking summon since it is kind of on, on longer maps, when you're running around, your summon's trailing behind, you could bring that back and, and replace him, him if you put wanted. Put him down but... so he's next to you? Yes. Yeah. yeah um, makes sense. So, yeah. So what you doing? I am going to attack for two the living corpse. Because that's all I can reach. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, your art, your thing's gonna go first. I forgot about that. What thing? Your summon is going oh, to yeah. attack corpse two for three damage. Did you do the modifier? No, that's your job. Oh, okay, I didn't know. <laughs> I wasn't looking. No. Uh, so plus one. Four damage, mm -hmm. which kills it. Yay! I mean, I'd rather use it on my attack, but hey. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so then it's your turn. Okay, now I'm gonna attack the elite. Four. That's fine. Three damage? Three. Two. Two. Because it's the bottom attack, right? Yes. Okay. Then what are you doing? And and then getting all my cards. And generating dark. Together. This one goes here. These go back in my hand, right? Yep. So I don't need to rest. Yep. And this one goes here. But then. Okay. Okay. Well, that was my turn. Um, so these both are going to move up and suffer one damage. Uh, and then the elements wane. So given that there's only two monsters left, you need to start considering how long you plan to stay in this scenario. Now, any Not point... Not long. Meaning you want to die at a point where you think I can take care of the rest on my own, but then exhaust before then. It's only two. That's what I'm saying. So maybe help me soften one up and then run in and, and try to get attacked and die or something. You want me to die? Your personal quest oh. is to oh. exhaust oh, yeah. 12 times. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you want to try and plan ahead how long do you want to last? Like, 
13 damage between two guys is kind of a lot for me. I'm not um, for a lot for me right now, but if you help me kill, I don't know, the elite one or maybe the the normal one, then I, I have can... a plan. You have a plan, okay? I got it. I got this. Okay. I can do this. I'm trusting you. I can't. I, I don't think I will kill them, but. I'm totally gonna ditch you. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll see. Are you gonna run away and let me die? Well, you want well, to die. Yes, yes, I know. It's just. It sounds bad. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, ready? Yep. Flip. 25. So you get to go first, or rather, your summon gets to go first. Your summon's gonna go here and attack Living Corpse 5. That's right. So, how much damage did he do? He does three attack, minus one, so two. Two damage. Okay. Then it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna do this thing, this, this... And we have wind. Yes, we so do. So I can use that. Okay. Yeah, you're starting to get the hang of tabletop. Mm-hmm. And then... If you, oh, if, shit. If you want to run up and, and get hit by something, now would be the time. Meaning if you I want to... I did this wrong. <laughs> huh? I forgot you can't do two tops. I did this wrong. Oh, you were planning to do that top? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you have the question. Do you, want to you, would, do you want to try to die this round? Can you... No. No? Okay. So you gotta I mean, move. I did no help. I did no help in softening them up. <laughs> Your summon did a few damage. But if I die, my summon dies, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Can you defeat them? I don't know. Maybe. Is that just you trying not to be helpful? I it you I can't tell you how to play. I can only make suggestions and hit and whatever. Now I don't think I can defeat them this round. I might be able to kill them next round. So how many cards do you have left? I have two on the field, two in my hand, and so I have eight total right now. I'm doing pretty good on cards. So you could go for them tomorrow, and you have enough health. But that one has a lot yet too. No, I don't want to die yet. Okay. You can move I'll die next turn. Uh, what's his range? Possibly two. They're gonna attack me. Oh. Assuming well, I don't then... move, they're going to attack me. I'm going to go here. You're moving there. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna get attacked this turn, Krista. Why? <laughs> Don't just just that's fine. Go there. You can discard cards to prevent what? damage if you want, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm using this move to go here and grab a coin, and then I'm gonna use this range three attack on the normal one for three damage. Three damage. One, two, three. And I get an experience for that. Okay, now the living corpse is going to go. This living corpse... Or sorry, the elite one's going to go first. One, two, one, two. He's actually going to attack your your uh, summon. That's fine. For four damage, five damage, which will kill it. Stupid tracker. All right, so your summon's dead, and then the normal one's gonna go here and whack me for three damage, two damage, one with shield, and it's the next round.
I, I am a, I'm in short rest, actually. Do I run? Uh, do I want to lose that? I do have this as a range attack, kind of. Nah, I'm, I'll I'll keep it. That's, I'll lose it. That's fine. So for this round, I can attack. They attack and... whoever goes fastest, right? Yes. For well, yeah. What, whatever's closest, and then if they're both the same closest, then whatever's fastest. So I think I'm gonna try. If I use attacks that have range and I'm next to them. Does that make it muddled? Yes. I doubt I'm gonna be able to kill him this time unless I pull like a times two. But I should be able to kill the normal this time. I'm also going to be generating you a leaf if you want. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking. Now remember, <laughs> and I saw the card now, but... If I'm generating you an element, you have to go after me. I gotta go me. later. Give me that. So if you go right. as fast as you can, I cannot beat it. At all. No matter what oh, I play. Oh wait. I just, just, I just do this. You good? I think so. Okay. Flip. These are still kind of the tutorial levels, but I think after this, I'm just going to have to let you let you do it. So you're at 69? Yeah. Okay. Uh, living corpses are attacking and pushing. Ooh. Maybe I don't want to stay put. Maybe I will move. Do it. If I die, that's fine. <laughs> so you want me to generate you an element? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, because then I can use this one. Do you want help attacking this turn or not? No. I think oh, you should okay, focus on well, dying. I mean, I can do both. Uh, anyway, so I went before you. I'm going to do attack three on both of them, starting with the normal one. Times two. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so I killed the normal one. And then I'm going to do a three damage to the elite. One, two, three. I uh, get an experience for that. Ah. Um... And then I'm going to use this as a base 2 move to go here, grab a coin. Why would you do that? Don't question me. I wanted that coin. <laughs> Butthead. Okay, well, no, I'm just... Not gonna... your turn. Well... The corpse is going to attack me for... Oh, great, he does go first. Um, here. I'm gonna use my boots to go here, actually, and grab that coin instead. That way I don't actually get attacked. So he's going to attack whatever's adjacent to him, which is nothing, and then suffer one damage, and then it's your turn. I'm going to stand here on this coin. Okay. So, one thing you could do is, sh well, you're going to have to short rest anyways, and then no matter what card you have, you could take the damage. What do you mean? So, you, so that's the card you're getting rid of. You're like, eh, nope, you take a damage. Mm -hmm. But then to prevent the damage, you discard two of these cards. So put both of them in here? Yeah. You don't have to do them randomized if you don't want to, but you honestly don't care. Ah, uh, maybe save that one. And then, so this would be the other one to get rid of then. So, um, so you get these two cards back. And now if you basically... 
You Why do I want to keep that one? I mean, I'd want to be attacked and killed. Yeah, so you want to go fast so that initiative-wise he focuses you. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Well, I thought I'm next to him no matter anyways, and you can't get out of that room, so... Oh no, yeah, you can. Right there. Never mind. Hee <laughs> hee. So I'm gonna go late. And then just do this, I think. So I'm going super late. Um, flip. You're going super early, and he is going 66. So cool. So you go first. He's doing nothing. Oh, oh. never mind. Nothing is me. I I um I would like a heal though, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got the card. Might as well. <laughs> yeah, might as well. I'll heal you then. Okay. I, well, I guess the other option is to grab the coin. So do you want to heal me and make sure that we have a good chance of succeeding or grab a coin? I'll heal you. Okay. I'm okay with the coin. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Better. Okay. So the corpse is going to attack you for four damage. He does four damage to you. And then dead. You're dead. That's a good old experience, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, even when we failed yesterday, you get uh, to keep everything. Doesn't go down to zero? Well, it does, technically. If you if you press 31, it makes it zero. Why? 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 So that the number you press is the state that it matches. So when you oh. press number one, it goes to the first state. There's 31 states to this thing. And if it was zero for one, it'd just be really confusing. So, anyway. Uh, so the living corpse went. I'm going to go move two. Grab this coin. And attack two disarm it. Minus one, I do one damage. Did you already click it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go as quick as I can. I think I'm just going to try generating some experience. I should be able to kill it. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, he is disarmed. He will not actually attack. So, actually, I'm going to go late. Is that a late card? That's not a late card. This is a late card. I'm going to go late. Yeah, okay. 87... Yeah, all right, so he's going to move, but he's not going to attack. But he does poison me. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Having troubles there. Don't worry about cleanup. <laughs> I will be re uh, reverting it, so whatever you screw up, it's not going to matter. Uh, I'm going to use the top of this as an attack for stun. Hey, there's a fucking curse. Great timing. Well, he's stunned for next turn anyways. I'm not gonna bother moving. That was actually a burn. All right, need to, I could long rest here, get my poison and stuff back. Since he's stunned. Might as well, does it hurt? Does um, it help you? Given that he's stunned, no, it's not gonna hurt. So he's stunned, I'm going to long rest. Okay, so he loses his stun. I get my poison dagger back, I get my boots back, and my poison is gone. I get to choose the card to get rid of. It's going to be that one. Then I'm going to go as quick as I can. Quick like a bunny. Quick as I can, and... Uh, we'll generate an element just in case for next turn. So, 10 is my initiative. He's got 47. I'm going to attack and disarm him for 2 damage. Minus 2. Awesome. Awesome. Krista, we might fail this. Holy shit. I generate an error. I can't land a blow on him. How? <laughs> He's not even moving! And, and I poisoned him as well. 
Yeah, I know, but I, I so I, I disarmed him, stunned him, disarmed him. I just, yeah. <sighs> okay, so he loses his disarm, that's all he does. You didn't get any health back either with that long rest, did you? Nope, because I poison. I was poisoned. Uh-huh. <sighs> oh my god. Oh gosh! Fucking stupid. Oh, hold on. I needed to actually shuffle because there was a times two in there, so hold on. It's only minus one, so I did one well. damage to him. Or wait, minus one. Yeah, I did one damage to him. There we go. One damage of poison. So basically, if I do zero damage to him this turn, not not a miss, but if I do zero damage to him, the poison will kill him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Flip. 18. 21. Okay, I'm going to... Attack three. Uh, I'm going to use the air, do an attack four. Plus two, of course. There's the pluses, so... He He's dies. Dead, dead. I move and grab the coin. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, that went a lot better the second time with a, a better strategy going in. Yeah. Your summon definitely helped. Okay, so yeah. conclusion. Wherever that is. Sifting through the carnage left by the battle, you find a cache at the back of the room containing the scrolls you were hired to collect. You can't help but rifle through them a bit, but find that the writing upon them is in some unknown archaic language. One thing that does jump out at you, however, is a map of the northern countryside. A bend in the still river is clearly marked as a point of interest. Contemplating whether you want to find out more about this so-called gloom, you decide that the spot could be a point of interest for you as well. Uh, which unlocks the scenario number four called Crypt of the Damned. Did you say spa or spot? Spot. You okay. decide that the spot could be a point of interest to you. Uh, but okay. that can be forgotten for the moment. You pack up your papers and head back to Gloomhaven to collect your reward. Meeting Jexera once again at the sleeping line, you hand over the papers and are paid the agreed upon amount. You know, she whispers to you softly, softly? You whispers to you softly under the bustle of the tavern. If you're interested, I may have another job for you. A tribe of Enochs in the Dagger Forest has ransacked a couple of my caravans heading to the capital. I told the militia, but they do nothing, she spits. I can point you in the direction of their encampment. If you can make an example of them, I will pay you even more. She places a crude map of the forest on the table and stands up, her jewelry clinking with the movement. Come find me when it's done, which unlocks the Enox encampment number three. So, we, as a reward for completing the scenario, we get 10 gold apiece. Uh, hold on, before we do that, before we give you your stuff. Uh, how much experience did you get? 13. You got 13 experience. You got one coin. And what was your battle goal? 13 experience! Wow, nice. I was, I was going to mention that, you know, if you have that battle goal, you just completed it. But uh, mine, guess what mine was? Get attacks. Uh, mine was to kill th five monsters. I killed three. I killed, oh. um, a, I think... The normal living corpse, the elite living corpse, and the bones? A anyway, I only, I only got three. I didn't get it. Um, I got five experience. God, you are outpacing me. This is not good. Uh, four coins. And I will revert it. I got one coin. Yep, I got that. Okay, uh, so go mark your experience. You got 13, you said. Mm -hmm. Hate that clinking. Which means you're at to 46. Which means you got a level. Um, and then you're. Check. All right? Yes, you get a check. You got 2 gold for that, plus 10 from the, the uh, um, scenario. So you got 12 gold. You'll have 13 total. I got 4 coins. Which is 8 gold. So I got 18, which is up to 23. I got 5 experience. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No check marks. I get a level. What do I get for a level? I will go over that in 10 seconds, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. So come over to the map on the right side. If you 
try not making so much noise with your keyboard, that'd be great. So if you look at the bottom of the map, you see these this row of stuff. This is called Prosperity. Okay. As we level up in Prosperity, more items are unlocked. When we start new characters, we can start them at that Prosperity level. So if we're at level 3 and you start a new character, it can start at level 3 instead of level 1. Nice. So for completing this one, in addition to the 10 gold, we also got one Prosperity check. So helping Jexera gave us some Prosperity. Yay! Um, so in addition to that, we're going to mark Barrel Lair as complete. So just put an X through it. We unlocked the Crypt of the Damned. This is to find out more information about the Gloom. And then we also un unlocked EG3 right here. Enox Encampment. So Jexera told us to go to the Enox Encampment to kind of get revenge on them attacking her caravan. Okay, uh, so that's it for the map. So you got a level, you say. Krista, can you try raining in your keyboard? I don't know how to be any softer with it, so... Because it sounds like you're taking it and bashing it against the wall every time you press a key. I don't know what to tell you. I am okay. very soft. So you died and got an exhaustion. We're going to mark that first. So you're 2 of 12. you got 10 more to do. Mm. Uh, so for a level, three things happen. First... Your max HP goes up, um, and that's what on your character mat here, you got one, two, three, four, five, up to nine, and the bottom one's your HP, so you now have a seven HP starting. Because you're level two. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you get to pick a perk. You get a free perk for leveling up. And in general, people say to remove negatives first. So typically, okay. these two okay. negative ones are your, your best starting ones. Other things you may want to consider are these two, um, are these plus twos to generate frost and fire. You can just add them to any card or what? Those are modifiers. So this little deck right here, you get to add, oh. you get to change your modifier deck with the perks. Wait, so that means when I pick something out of here, I could generate elements? Yes. So that's, so you're plus I'm two. Something, Look. how does that help? Oh, oh, okay, so you still attack. Yes. You don't just generate. Yes, yeah, so it's a plus two, so it's like a normal plus two, except that it also generates an element that you can use next round. And what's this one? Those are what are called rolling modifiers, so, um see if I can find one here so you got so this little arrow thing means rolling which means if you if you ever pick a rolling modifier you get to keep drawing until you don't pick one so here let me just set up like a little practice whatever thing oh my god I, I hate the scripting for the summons anytime you grab something from it it gives you a token and whatever um, okay so let's say that you're attacking and you get a rolling modifier what happens with the rolling modifiers is that you get to keep drawing. Oh, you got another rolling modifier. You keep drawing. Oh, you got another one. You keep drawing. Until you find something that's not a rolling modifier. Okay. That's how they work. This one's kind of useless? Um, uh, for your class, yeah, they're not really that great. Um, because they only generate elements, they don't actually add any damage. I think for my class, I... What? But I asked. I asked, do they generate the elements? Yes, these would only generate elements. These do not actually give you any extra damage. These do. These the plus twos do. Still me. The elements still help you, yes, but you would. Pr you, well, I'd you'd, rather have one of these, I think. You'd rather have one of those or getting rid of some negatives. How many negatives are there? There are five negative ones, a negative two, and a, and a, and a miss. Out of how many cards? 
out of 20 starting cards. I would also like to point out that because you bought the bless, you killed the boss. Yeah. Because that was the, the times two that you pulled. I was thinking the fire one. No. Yes. I have a card that works. Because there's not a whole lot of negatives. Half your deck is, well, not half your deck, a third of your deck is technically negative. Yeah. I mean, here, go, go right click on this deck here. And then the third, fourth option down is search. It's not. Oh, there we go. You gotta right click on the deck, click search. So this is your attack modifier. This is what it looks like. You got one times two, one plus two. I should have done this the first day. I don't know why I didn't. What are you doing? It, it's it's blinking. I'm trying to I'm organize them. Moving. Okay. Do you see it as a times two down to like? Yes. Okay. So you got a times two, a plus two, five plus ones, six zeros. Five negative ones, a negative two, and a miss. So I have a better chance of getting a negative one than I would getting that plus two. Yes. That's why I said typically the recommended thing is to get rid of negatives first. Because it makes that. your deck more consistent. So that you can plan on getting two or three damage oh, if you need two or three. It replaces it. Yes. So that's, uh, that's technically a net plus two for your deck. Yeah. Where is this? Hmm? Just press escape. Uh, you checked it. Does that mean that's the one you're going with? Yes. Okay. So then, uh, go into your modifier deck. Pull out a net one minus one. How do I do that? Right click on it. Click search. Okay. Click and drag one of those out. And then let go. There you go. Uh, and then press escape. And then come to this one and find a plus one. Oh wait, does it have to be a specific one? This one is purple. That's a curse one. That's not what you're grabbing. You're just grabbing a basic plus one. Why? Yep, that's it. There's another perk on here that says plus one curse. That is what that card is for. Ah. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this minus one and I'm just gonna stick it in here. Just cause. So now your modifier deck has six plus ones and only four minus ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's so you got health, you get a free perk, and the last thing you get is a card. You get to pick between this card. What the hell happened to it? It just disappeared. I oh no, oh, there it is. I just okay. So you either get to pick between this card or this card. Um. So the the benefit of this card is it's fast initiative. It's a good move on the bottom, a really good move. Move fours are really good. And then yeah. on the top, it's a range three, three damage attack, which is kind of like your flaming, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, give me a sec here. Uh, it's kind of like this one, Flames. except for it's range three and you and uh, you can't wound, but it generates an element. This is like one of your your first non-burn generate elements, so yeah, that you that can be... use this in synergizing with these two guys. This one is a double burn, and you've already got a shit ton of burns in your deck. Yeah, I was just thinking that I need some not burned. So that's a very powerful card. Plus, oh yeah, plus, 
It's also a really good initiative too. 26 is, is pretty fast. Okay, and then the other one goes back into the main pile. Now, uh, what you gotta do is you gotta pick one card to get rid of. Because you can only have, ever oh, have eight in your hand. Me. Yes. That is the drawback, unfortunately. I've got 23 money. I think I might buy an item. The unfortunate thing is I don't have ignore item effects yet. If I get this, it's only going to really help me once. I would really like to get you. Oh, wait, you're 10. But I don't want the negatives in my deck yet. How come some of the things have purple? And then... Say it again. How come some of the cards, like this mana bolt, has a purple dot next to the attack too? Ah, we have not unlocked that yet. Oh, okay. There's something called enhancing that you can do at some point. You can make cards permanently better moving forward. Oh. Meaning even if someone else plays the class after you, they also get that benefit. So you can do things like increase damage, increase range, add status effects. We have not gotten there yet. This is really hard. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so given that, given that this thing is you know a moderate initiative or you know a good fast initiative, it's a range three attack three. A lot of the upgrades are kind of direct replacements for another card in the hand that you already have. Um, let me just find a card for an example. So, like, I have a, this as a starting card, right? Can you see that? Yes. So, uh, my level 3 card looks like this. You see how it's kind of a like a, just a direct upgrade? It does. It adds muddle and gives me experience. Yep. So, if I were using this card... Mm -hmm. And then I get to level three, I would, I would take this card instead of this other one. So given that it's a range three attack and generates light, you might want to consider getting rid of this one. Because then it does the same damage, you don't have to have an element. It's about the same initiative. That's what I was thinking. Either that one or this one. This one's got heal, so I want to This get... one's by far better. This one, uh, much better initiative, plus you can use the heal if you need it. Not that I'm trying to tell you how to play your class or anything, but... Better fling strike. That one's got an attack on the bottom. This one, I think, I need... Top. I have... Okay. Okay. So you up for another scenario or are you going to go to bed? No, I'm tired. All right. We will call it here then and continue on our quest another day.